Let's tell you now that Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Basil Williams, Senior Counsel, says the Ghana Elections Commission has the authority to resolve all incidences of electoral fraud emanating from the ongoing national recount of votes cast at the March 2 general and regional elections. The Attorney General responded Monday to claims by opposition member Anil Nandlal, who, along with other opposition officials, has been pushing the narrative that the probing of the electoral irregularities was outside of the remit of GCOM, and that the many objections being made by government counting agents are suited only for an elections petition. Citing the Commission's National Recount Order, A.G. Williams maintained that the provisions empowered GCOM to not only count the ballots, but also examine irregularities, discrepancies, and anomalies to decide on the credibility, or lack thereof, of the March to polls. The order also provides for the use of the observations report form to record any observation outside of the ballot box checklist, and under paragraph 12, the chief elections officer, after tabulating the matrices of all electoral districts, to submit a report which includes the observation reports and the matrices of the ballot for each district to the commission. Quote, this shows a clear dichotomy between the ballot count and observations being made during the recount process, confirming that it is not about the ballot count alone. Unquote. Chicom's Chair Justice Retired Claudette Singh has already requested from the APNU AFC Coalition evidence of the objections being made in the observation reports. The government said it has evidence to support its objections over the names of deceased persons and persons who were overseas on March 2 turning up to cast their ballots. According to A.G. Williams, GCOM is well equipped with a chairman who is qualified to adjudicate in these matters. Former Director General of the Ministry of the Presidency, Joseph Harmon, has already outlined that over 86,000 votes have been severely affected from attempts at electoral fraud by the opposition. For InfoHub, Alexis Rodney.